So I wanted to share something real quick. Um, in uh, my Sunday school class uh, with my kids, it actually started because of my kids, but I've been telling them to wake up every day and be thankful. The second you wake up, I tell them, pray. I tell them to pray because you should instantly thank God that you woke up. He didn't have to do that for us. And we take that for granted, all of us do. We really do. And I started telling them this because it's what I started doing because it changed my perspective. I was waking up and mad I had to go to work or I don't, I don't know mad, like irritated at times. I mean, everybody's like, you know, oh, it's Monday again or oh, it's this. I've, I've never really had Mondays or nothing. I just I get up and I go do what I got to do to provide for my family. I don't get in these ruts, but I did realize that I was starting to get a really negative attitude. So I changed that by the second I woke up, I thank God that I woke up. The second that I'm teaching my Sunday school and my kids and everybody else is count your blessings. Now when I say count your blessings, I really literally mean count your blessings. You opened your first two right when you woke up, your eyes. God gave us the ability to see. He gave us the ability to touch, to have legs, to walk. Now, not everybody has these capabilities, so again, that's why you should be thankful if you are able to see, to walk. There's blind people, there's uh, disabled people, there's people in wheelchairs, there's, but even they can see or touch or hear or taste. Taste is one of my biggest ones. Do you realize that God could have made everything taste the same? He didn't have to give us taste buds. He literally could have made everything taste the same, and we'd probably have a lot less overindulging and weight problems and everything else. I mean, I'm even getting a gut from eating too much because it tastes good. We got to eat it. But it's simple little things like this that like if, if we start counting those blessings, like I even tell my kids, especially in my Sunday school, if you can walk up to a drinking fountain, you don't have to go to a well. You don't have to get it for yourself. That just happens to come out of the faucet or we can flush toilets. Some of them have to walk somewhere to, to poop and pee. When you have these things, I mean... Yeah, in America, we take it for granted. We shouldn't, though. We should start counting our blessings and looking at it so we don't take it for granted. My next thing is the, the grocery shelves. Like, I don't know if people don't realize or kids don't realize or we're not teaching them. I'm, I'm not teaching them if... Like, we think we can just go to a store and get something off a shelf. But we don't realize that, like, to get milk, something has to be milked. I'm not saying the pasteurization and all the hormones and all the other things that the, the milk's bad, but... All these things go into producing this product, and then it's put on a shelf. But that product has to get milked. It has to get shipped. It has to get onto a truck. It has to get... There's lots of things that go into that before you just walk into the store and grab it and then go up and pay for it. If we start teaching our kids some of these things, like if you had to milk an animal or get up early to milk an animal or get up early and do chores so that animal is fed and watered and all the things that... They'd start respecting it more. That's part of the problem we have in America is we don't respect some of the things we have because our kids see us just go buy something. And then it's like, oh, well, it's simple. You just you just go get it if you need it. Yeah, but it's not simple that they don't understand all the work that goes into those things that gets put on the shelves, even for just our food. Uh, for clothing, there's things that go into that. Not that most things are overpriced and ridiculous with the name brand on them, but we have to start teaching our kids these things. And like, so the first two things, as soon as you wake up, thank God. Second, count your blessings. And those blessings are being able to touch, feel, taste, taste buds. <clears throat> I love y'all and you run with it. Do what you do.